Good afternoon. Um, today it's Saturday, April 8th, 2023. Um, spent this morning to just chill, woke up quite late actually. Spent last night watching Alice in Borderland. I know it's been... Uh, I'm, too, I'm too late into the hype, but it's pretty cool series to watch. Anyway, I spent today fine-tuning my dice gun, especially the the shell. Um, basically, my problem is since I don't know uh, the exact measurements of each dice, and it would be ideal if this case um, can house. A different measurement of dices so let's say for each d6 regardless if it's a 18 millimeters or 12 or 20 millimeters it can still be housed in the same um, it can be still housed in the same case for that um, it means that I need to somehow make um, some sort of mechanism where this part can contract um, or contract or what's the what's the opposite of contracting anyway it can get bigger looser and tighter at will um, so I google some best practice for that and I just realized that basically there's this thing called compliance mechanism where basically instead of using a spring or rubber band to create this um, elastic mechanism you sort of um, build it using the natural um, natural uh, I'm losing words using the in German it's Eigenschaften using the natural properties of the material yeah that's the word so if I'm using PLA right here if I can print it um, thin enough uh, it can has this um, elastic feature in it so this is the first draft that I did basically it's something like this but i create uh, two small hands that is going outward so the idea is when when let me show you an example so that when it goes into the place the the two hands that is pointing outward will snap in place and make sure that the cap stays in place it works so at least I solved the the problem with um, I, at least I solved one problem that before I need to use a uh, glue I need to use glue to close off the caps and actually the downside of it is because underneath there is the rubber band that is uh, important to this mechanism if I glued it then it will stay in place and you almost need to break it to open if you want to change the rubber bands but now with this i can open it again anytime i want and all i need to have is just a either a nail or something that is thin enough i just need to move the head and then pop it off so it's open so it works now the question is can I use the same um, mechanism to hold different measurements of dice in place? Um, so for instance, I have two D6 dice, one is slightly bigger than the other one. And if I, the idea here is that the two hands inside will hold the smaller dice in place something like this and yeah it will hold so 
at least my assumption works but now the thing is I need to fine-tune the model because the, the thing right here has an open end and it would be quite easy to break off and it's also possible that uh, instead of going outward it can also go inside or outside and it will break off when you insert the dice so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm gonna spend um, this afternoon to come up with a design that can sort of like solve that I was, I was thinking to build the the spring inside the ring so it actually doesn't touch um, the, the outer part maybe if it's something like this So instead of having the the spring directly touching the dice, if I build it within uh, inside the, the cap itself and have some sort of like border, hopefully it will work. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm printing some um, prototype for that, and hopefully it works. And everything's good. I'm gonna I can put this out. Uh, for sale next week and also quick shout out to like uh, people who really give some love and good reactions about this project on my tiktok I uh, posted this yesterday and it blew up overnight um, they all want this look and asking for the STL I'm so happy when I got that reaction so I will try to continue fine-tuning this so hopefully I will have some um, good designs that I can share with everyone by next week so that's up eight um, yeah this is another version that I did and as you can see one of the hands is already breaking off when I try to push the dice inside so yeah I'm gonna fix this um, but yeah it's cool when I discovered about this compliance mechanism it kind of blew my mind especially the the stuff that I watch was also from a fellow 3D printer enthusiast um, and yeah um, kind of I'm also happy that Today, suddenly that thing come back into my head and suddenly it clicks that it can help solve my current problem. I've been using this compliance mechanism in my other project to build, but it's pretty simple, you know, like for my flare gun, I use it to create a spring out of PLA or in my cartapult project this is also a compliance mechanism because the catapult itself doesn't really have rubber band on spring attached to it but I'm only relying solely on the the inherent um, shit I, I forget the word again the inherent properties of the material properties <sighs> anyway uh, that's it for today Tomorrow there won't be any log entry. I will post the the how to videos about my flare gun. So yeah, see you on Monday.